Hey Church, my name's Rachel, I'm from Manchester Central Campus and today's theme is Miracles in the Workplace and I want to look at three different areas that are linked um, and believe together for more outpouring of God's love, God's Holy Spirit into our workplaces. So the first thing I want to look at is Colossians 3.23 which says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. And this is such an encouraging verse to remind us that wherever we find ourselves, whatever we work we're in, we can do it to honour God. And as we serve him and serve the people around him, he takes delight in that and he will reward us. And some, some jobs, it's probably more obvious, isn't it? Oh, okay, if you're a, a doctor or a teacher or you're in social services, a caring profession, then maybe you can really see, well, I am serving others. And that is great. And I just pray for fresh, um, refreshing and strength because I know that can be a really um, tough field to be in. And may God really fill you this morning. But if you work in a less obvious um, area where sometimes you might think, well, what's the purpose of my work? I pray today that we all get a fresh revelation of how our work serves God and serves humanity. In fact, Martin Luther said, the Christian shoemaker does his duty not by putting little crosses on the shoes, but by making good shoes because God is interested in good craftsmanship. And I just want to encourage us all today that as we turn up on time to work, we keep a great attitude, we make sure we meet deadlines, we serve and we ask God for strength to do all of those things well. We honour God and we serve others. And that leads to the next um, miracle that I want to believe us for, is that we shine out. Because what did Jesus say in Matthew 5 verse 16? We know this verse well on the whole. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So as we've served and kept diligent and a great attitude and shown love and compassion and kindness to the people that are either our customers or our colleagues our lives shine out and in a world where so many people are struggling aren't they there's so much stress and anxiety mental health issues let alone just the normal office politics and workplace issues to shine out by serving and caring and loving others is just such an important part of what we do. So again, I'm praying today that we shine out afresh, that people look and go, well, what's different about you? And that as we just show love to people, sometimes you could be just at the right place at the right time to bring some cheer or some encouragement. And where people have felt despairing, your words of um, just even being polite and kind can just make such a difference, can't it? So let's look for those opportunities and believe God that our actions and our words lift people and encourage them and bring an opportunity for my third point. And the third miracle in the workplace is that we're able to share, share our faith and share God's goodness with people. Because in Colossians 4, verse 5 and 6, it says, Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. And so this is important. It's not that we're just great, nice people and we're trying to care for people. It's actually because we want to be able to share that we have experienced the grace and love and forgiveness of God, that we know him, that he's in our lives, he's our hope, he's our strength. He's the one that has, has forgiven us for all our mistakes. He's given us eternal life. And we want, we want to be able to share that with people because people, you know, so many people are really struggling, aren't they? And there's so much hunger. People don't realize that they're hungry for God. And that's why, our conversation should be seasoned with salt. It should grab people's interests. It should be full of grace. We're not here to condemn and to preach. We're here to share truth and love. Um, I remember um, an opportunity. I was 
driving up when I was a business consultant I was with the boss of the company we were driving up to a conference in Edinburgh from London so it was a long journey and during that um, five or six hours we really got on to talking about God and um, he was asking me a lot and I was able to share my faith with him. The next day at the conference I'd found I'd got my alpha book and I was going to share I was giving him a copy of this book because I knew it would be relevant and one of my colleagues from America was listening in and she started to ask a few questions and if I'm honest I was a bit like mm, what's, what's, she, what's she coming in this is a private conversation but obviously I didn't say that I was gracious um, but the funny thing is about a month later I was in America and we had lunch together and she asked me again about Jesus and she talked to me about becoming a Christian and I was able to tell her how to do that and um, give her the prayer to pray and she asked Jesus into her heart. So you just don't know who's listening. You don't know um, what opportunities are there, but that is a miracle that we're praying for during this month, that our light would shine, that we'd serve the people around us and we'd be able to share our faith. And also that we would see actual miracles. Another time more recently, I was one of my work colleagues, it was about, it was about seven years ago, but one of my work colleagues was diagnosed with cancer and she's a single mum with young kids. Obviously I would talk to her and pray for her and encourage her but one day I really felt by I felt God prompted me to actually pray for her and I asked her was would that be okay and in break time we went and I prayed for her and just laid hands on her shoulder and just prayed what I felt in my heart to pray and she told me um, a couple of weeks later that she'd actually felt heat go through her body I wasn't aware of this this was God moving in her and do you know what ever since then she's always had the all clear you know she, there was just from then on no cancer in her body and she was healed and we we still friends and we often talk about it so I want us to believe this month you know people are hurting aren't they people need prayer people are often so more much more open and willing for us to pray for them and we're stepping out and seeing what God can do so this month, we're believing for miracles in the workplace, that we can serve God, serve the people around us, that we can shine out, that we can be seen, our light can, can shine and point people towards God, and that we'll have courage and boldness to share our faith. We'd have the words from God, the right words in season for each opportunity. So have a great day, church. Let's believe together and share some of this encouragement with each other as we see what God does in the workplace. Bye.